Districts have changed uh, since 2020, and with that, some precincts have been consolidated. So the location of where you vote in person may have changed. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson speaking with us Friday ahead of the August 2nd primary. Redistricting has shaken things up, so you want to be on the lookout for that. Right now, just under half of the absentee ballots requested have been returned. We see most ballots being returned on Election Day itself. And given the fact that there are lots of moving pieces and late endorsements happening, or anticipated in many races, uh, it, it's, it's no surprise to us that many voters are choosing to hold on to their absentee ballots. As is often the case, turnout is expected to be lower in a primary than in a general election. It's not going to be a you know 5.5 million voter turnout as it was in November of 2020, but we are ready for uh, to to receive a number of voters who are very enthusiastic about the primary elections. Michigan State Police are investigating alleged unauthorized attempts to access voting systems in the state. We know that it so far is likely in more than one community, uh, but beyond that, again, it's an ongoing investigation, and so we'll see how it unfolds and ensure that that uh, every uh, potential thread is pulled so that we can see justice and consequences for anyone who's trying to break our laws and interfere with the security of our elections. And to clarify, there is no evidence uh, that you're aware of that suggests that any of this unauthorized accessing of voting machines will compromise the upcoming August 2nd primary. Correct. That has been our focus, and I feel confident that uh, in partnership with our clerks uh, that, that it will not disrupt the security of this election. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.